Good morning. This is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com, and today is Thursday, March 16th, 2017. And uh, this isn't the regular weekly video. This is a, we're going to do a look back at the uh, Fujita Museum auction, which took place yesterday in New York. Uh, we had discussed it a few weeks ago. If you, if you haven't seen the catalog, it's here on our website, uh, here under Dealers and Auctioneers. You go to it and click the Christie's panel, and you come here. This is the catalog. And uh, the sale was much anticipated uh, because of the, the great rarities uh, held in the Fujita that were collected by this man, Fujita Denzuburu. He was a very, very wealthy uh, Japanese uh, 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 merchant from the 19th century. He died in the early, early 20th century. He was an avid collector. He collected thousands and thousands of things. Uh, on, he was, there's a famous story in the catalog here about how he was, he was bidding literally from his deathbed um, uh, using couriers at one point and at the, at the end of his life. And uh, he, he accumulated an amazing collection. The Fujita decided to deaccession some things, probably on a fundraising uh, effort. And uh, they did. And what the prices were were just astounding. And we're going to start with this. This was a Yuan Dynasty Celadon vase, a little over 24 inches tall. It had a two to $300,000 estimate on it and uh, made very short work of that estimate and ended up selling for 700 and uh, I'm going to double check here to make sure I get it right. $727,000 was the price. Um, notable uh, among all the three Celadons they offered in the sale were, uh, were the incredible quality of the work, obviously, and the color. And then it, repeat again over here. Everything went from multiple times the estimate. One piece we'll get to in a minute went for over 30 times its estimate. Uh, it was the top lot of the sale. But we had this. This was a very nice Lonkon uh, Lay's jar uh, with cover. Um, you won also. Estimated at 100 to 150,000, it went for 787,000 dollars. But it's a rare piece, great color, and amazing provenance. All right. Now we trundle over here into the painting section. This is where things really went wild. Um, uh, Elizabeth Hammer, my, my friend at Christie's, must be very pleased today. She worked incredibly hard on this sale. Uh, I imagine uh, I met her, or she was here not uh, long ago visiting us wonderful person, very bright, and uh, she did a spectacular job, just, just, just saying it, got to say it. At any rate, this, here is um, um, the, 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 the top lot of the day was this incredible painting by Chen Rong of Dragon, um, well known for them, dragons with symbols of water in Chinese culture, and uh, they were often used in rituals of one kind or another to encourage rain, and uh, this painting was estimated at 1.2 to 1.8 million dollars, and uh, the the bidders made very short work of that estimate, and they ran it right up to 48, 48 million 967 thousand 500 dollars, uh, nearly 50 million, just a hair under 50 million for this great painting uh, that had belonged to the Qin Lung Emperor. Uh, interestingly, the, most of the paintings, the great paintings in this sale, had belonged to the Emperor Qin Lung. He had cataloged them and put his seals on them. And a few of them he had made inscriptions, um, and, and this was one of the greats. And uh, there it is, and we're going to move over here to this. A wonderful painting, and a rare, rare, rare painting by uh, Han Gan. He was a Tang Dynasty painter who was legendarily known for his horses. Uh, there's the, uh, the, the uh, horse, and these are the Qinlong seals up in here and here. Um, and had other owner seals as well as it went down through its history. And uh, Chin Lung cataloged this as well. And it had, uh, it, back a few weeks ago, I saw the estimate, I thought it was awfully low, seven, uh, six to 700,000. Uh, I, I, I thought it would have been estimated at least as much as the other ones, but low estimates are good for bidders, okay? They encourages them because they know the, the reserves are very, very low. And uh, this painting sold for $17,047,500, million and $17,047,500, okay? $17, Thousand five hundred, um, but just a great work by a very, uh, a very important Chinese artist, and uh, did exceedingly well. So bravo to the painting department at Christie's. And then we get over here to, to this. This was a terrific lot uh, for the people who collect scholars' objects. This is a Chen Lung period um, uh, drum form ink cake set, uh, complete set with the original uh, inscribed uh, box. And uh, each cake is inscribed with a poem, 
uh, just very, very rare uh, to get these. If you're a scholar's collector, this must have driven you crazy. And uh, it was estimated uh, very, very reasonably at fifty to seventy thousand uh, dollars. Again, uh, low estimates uh, until the until the bid is you know the reserves can't be above the low estimates. So it was off to the races with this driving it up to one million twenty-seven thousand dollars. So it went uh, you know fourteen times estimate, uh, but some uh, scholars collector or dealer who handles scholars objects got a great piece for his customers. To, uh, to look at, really terrific. And uh, then we got into the, get into the bronzes, and there were a number of extraordinary bronzes as we discussed two weeks ago. This was one of them. This was a, a fabulous Fang Zun vase, late Shang Dynasty, terrific color, beautifully cast, um, just a, a, an amazing piece with a long, long, long history, lots of literature on it, and it was estimated at six to uh, eight million. And uh, a lot of people have, boy, six to eight million. Well, the bidders loved it a lot more than six to eight million. It went for thirty-seven million, two hundred and seven thousand dollars. Okay, a big price. Uh, a very, very lovely bronze, though. Just exceptional. And note the color, and and then you can't underestimate the provenance and the power of the provenance on this. So off it went. Then next is my favorite bronze. This was my favorite bronze in the sale. Um, I, I really, really love this. This is a Fang Lei. Uh, also estimated six to eight million, but I, I like the shape a great deal. I love the form of it. Uh, it also had an extensive exhibition history. Uh, here it is. Um, and I love the, what, the way the relief work was done, the contrast between the very, very fine, detailed low relief and then the high relief work and then these, 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 these uh, appliques coming off the piece. Um, and the color, the color, the thing just glowed. Every picture I saw of it, it was just amazing. Uh, just glowed under light, and uh, it, it did extremely well. It was estimated at six to eight million, and it brought thirty-three million eight hundred and forty-seven thousand uh, dollars. Well deserved, and it was a big piece. This thing was twenty-five inches tall, as I recall. It was a big one, beautiful. And uh, then we get over here, the last bronze. This was a, one of the one of the rarities in the sale. It did very well. Uh, it's a it's a gong called they call them gongs, and it's a ram's uh, form um, wine ewer, and they're really rare. You don't see them very often, and this one had been um, extensively studied and exhibit, exhibited as well, and uh, a lot of people went after it. It was estimated also at six to eight million dollars, and it ended up selling for uh, twenty seven twenty seven million one hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars. Just a, a terrific example. Um, probably, you know, I think some of these bronzes may end up in museums. I don't know. I don't know where they're going, but I suspect you'll be seeing them exhibited somewhere. Um, and then last, were some of the, there were a bunch of stone carvings at the end. This was one that I had picked out to talk about earlier. Uh, it ended up, I think, being the most expensive one. But uh, uh, I just love the form of it and the, and the elegance. Uh, of the robes and the way it's done. This was a, um, a, a Northern Wei Dynasty example of a Buddhist triad, uh, but again, exceptional quality. Uh, the way the uh, the attendants are, um, it's, the, it's a, uh, the way the attendants are done, the Fu lines, the central figure, um, the, the positioning of the bot, oh, the whole thing is just great. With with a with a calligraphic panel at the bottom on the base here, with a big uh, bit of script in here. Uh, making it very, very desirable. It's been translated. You can look that up if you'd like. And uh, it was estimated. Uh, it's big. These are this is pretty big. Uh, some of these you see around, and they're they're like eight or ten inches. This was a big one. It was a uh, uh, 23 inches tall. Uh, rather large. Nice, nice piece for for display in a collection. And uh, it ended up going for 5.8 million. 5 million 847 thousand to be exact. And uh, just um, uh, a, a great, a, a great result for a great example. And uh, that was it. There are other pieces in here. If you want to see the rest of the collection, um, uh, come to our site and uh, go to the dealers and auctioneers page, um, and it'll bring you here. And you click on that, and um, it'll bring you over to the Christie's page. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll do the regular video tomorrow. I just wanted to share this. I was really pleased to see the results of this sale. The power of provenance can never be underestimated, um, and this is a very clear example. All right, and we'll do the regular video tomorrow for the regular week, 
and uh, have a great day, and uh, thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.